the size it keeps on decreasing from one number to another number that is h1 to h2 we can format the text in different ways image src in the sense img in the sense image src in the sense source hello everyone i welcome all of you to the second session on web designing in the previous session we had understood a lot of basic concepts on web designing but it's very important to understand those concepts practically so in this session i will be explaining those concepts with a practical knowledge guys if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the vidyashram channel for more updates on all the subjects so guys once you are done with this video please don't forget to like the video uh, by saying this let me start the class for all of you what is that i have for the day i have uh, something interesting i'll show you so i have uh, this program so let's understand the basic concepts what exactly the structure of html program with the help of this program all right uh, please understand the basic concepts of html program first so what is the first tag that i have the first basic tag we call that as a root tag so what is that i have the root tag what we have is html before i start any html program i should never forget to write the root tag so what is the root tag that i have so the root tag that i have is html so that is the root tag that i should have so whenever i'm starting the html program i should open the html tag in the meanwhile at the end of the program i should never forget to close the html tag i should never forget to close the html tag so first thing you understood i should open the html tag and i should close the html tag what is the next thing that i have to write so you have something called head tag you have something called head tag so inside this head tag you have to mention the title tag so this will help me whatever i am giving here so this content will be present on the tab this content will be present on the tab i'll show you how exactly this content is working so how what is that i am getting here i have vidyashram pre university college i will show you if i run this program where exactly the content will come so all of you would have seen you know uh, if you open the browser uh, new tab or a separate tab you will get in the top new tab so instead of that i am renaming that tab so with the content vidyashram pre university college so for that what is the tag i am using i am using a title tag i am using the title tag that's what you need to observe here also whatever the tag that i am using most of the tags if i open the tag i will be closing the tag with the forward slash i'll be i'll be closing the tag with the forward slash that is what you need to remember fine the basic and the very important content that i should never forget when it comes to the html program that is body tag please observe i have something called body tag so what is the use of this body tag imagine i have a browser imagine i have a browser this is my browser so fine here i have my url all those things i have so whatever the content that i have in this part okay so all these things i will be i will be specifying inside the body tag whatever i specify within the body tag this content will be present inside the part this part of the browser this is what i will call it as a body please understand this all right so what is that i have given inside the body tag even body tag i have to open and i have to close so fine i have given one heading so this is a heading so i have h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 headings okay in the same way i have paragraph if i want to write you no know, more than one line i will be using the p tag please observe for both the tag i have opened and i have closed h1 and h1 so here i have opened the tag okay here i have closed this tag in the same way for paragraph tag also i have opened the tag and i have closed the tag what is the meaning of it so whatever the content that i have within this tag so that will be considered for the paragraph tag whatever the content that i have between these two so that is belongs to heading tag so that's what you need to understand so once i am done with this i will close the body tag 
and after that at the end of my html program i will close the html tag so this is what you need to remember let me show you after typing all these things what is that you have to do a very important thing that you have to do is you'll open the notepad and you will type your program like this then after that you have to save the file you have to save the file how do you save the file so guys you will save the file you know control s you'll go to the files and then you will click on save okay you will click on save i have already saved so i'll just give it as save as all right uh, so what is that you need to do you have to give the file name you have to give the file name and make sure that extension should be dot html so let me just take uh, one dot uh, html one dot html is my file name that i have given uh, so i'll give save so let me select the location the location is desktop oh it's already there uh, i'm just asking you to replace all right uh, let's run this program and understand how exactly this is looking all right so i have the file with me that is one dot html okay can you all see this yes i have this open with browser so if i execute this guy this will be your output okay this will be your output so what is that i had given i had given in a heading so this is a heading then this is what this is, there is a change in the font style there is a change in the thickness of the font is what you need to understand so it gradually decreases when i use h1 h2 h3 h1 is comparatively different from h2 h2 is comparatively different from h3 i will show that how exactly it is working okay but you need to observe this and the paragraph there is a lot of difference between the paragraph and the heading is what you need to observe let us try to change all right uh, so here i'll uh, change it to h2 now okay I, I was using h1 so i'll change it to h2 all right uh, i'll change it to h2 so what will be the difference i'll uh, i'll just give it for a reference i'll use h2 here so that you will be able to understand what is that what is the tag that i've used so here i'll use instead of h1 again i'll use h3 then again here i will use h3 all right so let's uh, run this guys uh, please observe this is h1 this is h2 and this is h3 so this is how the difference that you will get if you use different html tags that's what you need to observe in this example and obviously the paragraph paragraph mainly we are using here the p tag to use the paragraph i mean like paragraph in the sense like you know you will be using multiple statements or multiple lines whenever you are using that you will be using the p tag but when it comes to the heading so heading you will have a different different sizes so h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 so it goes on like you know the you you can keep using the different headings for the different sizes all right this is how the heading and paragraph is working for all of you let me explain the different tags uh, with the next program so i have a uh, next program for all of you let me just show that so as i told you i have different head tags uh, i have the head tags till 6h6 how exactly this h6 till h6 this head tag is working let me just show you before uh, before that let me just explain the basic concepts again i have a uh, html tag for all of you and i have used head tags so i forgot to show you this i will be showing this in the in, in this program and then uh, we have the body tag inside this body tag i'm using a different html tags so that is head tag basically i'm using in the body all right so what is that i'm using h1 h2 h3 h4 5 6 what is that you should observe here is how exactly the thickness of h1 is different from 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 this is what you need to observe the size it keeps on decreasing from one number to another number that is h1 to h2 this is what you need to observe basically you know mainly this program i dedicate to understand uh, the headings different headings that we have so guys uh, this is how your program output looks please observe what is that i have so heading one okay the heading un understand the thickness of the font with the heading one and compare the same thing to the heading two three four five and six this is how the heading one two three four five six are different from each other this is what you need to understand whenever you are using this tag please understand the 
weightage of the font and then you need to use it in your program is what I would like to inform all of you at this point of time. So hope you got the fair idea about the basic HTML program and also you understood how to use the heading tags and also you learned how to use the paragraph tag. Let me move on to the next one. Paragraph tags especially in this paragraph tags I will be showing different formatting techniques that we have in the HTML. So what is that different formatting technique that we have? So please understand. So we can format the text in different ways. We can format the text in different ways. How do we do that? So please observe. I have the HTML tag. So you all know that uh, I have head tag in that from pre-university college is what I've given. So please understand. So this is my body tag. You all know that whatever the content that I give in the body tag that will be displayed on the browser content area. All right, so what is that I have given? So please understand, I have used the paragraph tag. I have used the paragraph tag. So if I want to have any paragraphs, obviously I have to use the paragraph tag, that is P tag. I have used, I have opened this paragraph tag and I have closed this paragraph tag. So in between that, what is that I have given? So please observe, I have used, I have used the tag called B, slash B. What is the meaning of it? Here I have opened the bold tag and here I have closed the bold tag. What is that I have done? Here I have opened the bold tag and I have closed the bold tag. So why should we use this B tag? B in the sense you are converting the normal text into the bold. So if you want to change the text whatever you have to bold so you will be using the B tag. This is what I will call it as a bold tag. This is what I will call it as bold tag. Here I have opened it and I have closed it. All right. So if I want to make my text as italic, how, how exactly italic will look? It'll, no, your text will be slightly slanted. Okay, that's what we call it as a italic. How do I make my text little, no, little slant? So I have to use the property called italic. How do I do that? For that, I have to use the tag that is I. Again, what is that I have I've used here? I have used the tag I, I have opened it and then I have closed it here. So that's what you need to understand. The same way I have something called, please understand, subscript and I have something called superscript. What is the meaning of subscript and superscript? So please understand I have something called x square and I have something like this. How do I do this? How do I change my text to this? So that's what you need to understand. That's what you need to understand. So guys, please observe the code. I will show you the output. So you should be able to make out the difference what I have done in this program. So please write down all the tags, whatever I'm going to discuss, definitely it will help you. So you have to write, you have to write this code in the notepad, then you have to save the file, you know, in whatever the name that you want, as, but make sure that the extension should be .html. All right, I've done that. Let me just ex execute this. So this is how your program is looking like. Look, please observe my text, whatever I have here. Okay, my text, whatever I have here. So this text is completely converted into bold. This text is completely converted into bold. And then, so I think you will be able to observe this, whatever I have, it is slightly slanted so this is what i will call it as a italic okay this is what i will call it as a italic so what is the tag that i have used here so i have used a tag called b okay what is the tag that i have used here i have used a tag called i what is that we have used here so please observe this is what we call it as a subscript if you have the content the below so that we call it as a subscript and if you have the content at the top that's what we call it as a superscript so please observe the output so you'll be able to identify so this is how you will be using the italic bold subscript and superscript okay this is the basic concept that you should know whenever you are formatting your text in the web page all right so let me take you to the next tag what is that i have if you want to have the image okay in your web page so what is that you have to use so please understand we have a tag called image tag okay we have a tag called image tag what is that we have so i will be using image source what is that i have to use i will be using image source so what exactly image source is all about see please understand i have used the same thing so 
the basic thing that is I have to open my file I have to start my file with a HTML tag and I have to start I have to use the body tag because all my content should come inside the body of the tab inside that I have just given the heading okay so please observe what is that important line if I want to add if I want to add the image in my website or web page I have to use the tag called image src what is that image src image src in the sense img in the sense image src in the sense source src in the sense source is equal to within quotes I have to give I have to give the name of the image whatever you have named say for example I have saved one name uh, like you know uh, if you just take out in the take out from the camera it will be like you know some some random number it will be uh, having like you know let's imagine 100.jpg you have to please make sure that even you will give the extension also you have to mention the extension also so that's very important so please don't forget to give the extension as well all right so you will specify the name of the image dot extension so within the coach you have to mention that then after that suppose if the image is not loading okay uh, you have not given the right path so please understand whenever you are giving here okay so you have to give the complete path of that image where exactly you have stored that image so that's very important suppose if i have stored in the d drive inside a lot of folders are the complete path you have to give say for example you have given d drive okay so inside d drive what is the folder name so that folder name you have to mention like for example p1 is what i've given inside that i've given one more html okay html folder so after that you have to mention the file name like you know inside this folder i have placed this file name so file name is img dot c h a n i a dot j peg is what i have to give within coach so this is the complete path okay so this is the complete path this is how you have to give the path whenever you uh, you want to load the image to your web page so fine so this is about the loading the image suppose if the image is not loading properly so what should be the error message that i should get so that's what i will give it as a alternate text okay i will be using a uh, attribute called alt okay so alternate text suppose if the image is not loading properly so this is what it should display that's a uh, important thing that you need to understand and the size of the image i will mention width and height i'll mention width and height so please understand width how much what should be the width of the image and what should be the height of the image is what you need to remember so this is what you need to remember when it comes to the image tag it's very important all right so i have not taken this image uh, i don't have an image right now but i'll show you if the image is not there how exactly my program will behave is what uh, let's try and check you are able to see this uh, this is the alternate text that it is taking because i don't have that image so this is how th this is the size of that image that we have given width and height but uh, i don't have the image that's why uh, suppose if i had the image the image would have come here so i don't have that image i have not given that image i just wanted to show you the alternate text this is the alternate text that we have given so please understand this is how it works if the image is not there and this is how we load the image this is what you need to remember with respect to the image file how do we load the image so guys uh, i think i've come to an end of this session so in the coming session i will be coming up with a lot of different topics which we have in the web designing so until then please take care bye bye practice these programs in your home Thank you, everybody.